I'm Karen from Specially for Cats and welcome to our latest Hints and Tips video. Now today we're with John Orvet and we're going to be talking about microchipping. So John, what is microchipping and why is it important? Microchipping is the act of inserting a microchip into a cat um, and it's very important because if your cat goes missing and your cat turns up at an RSPCA centre or vets or the police or wherever, um, they have readers for the chips and they can scan your cat and it, it tells them where the cat came from and obviously the cat can then be returned to you. So what does a microchip look like and, and how does it work? Right, um, it, it looks like a, it's as big as a grain of rice. I've actually got one here, I um, can show, show okay. you um, later. Um, and it, it works, um, it's, it's got a number embedded in it and that number is read by a, a reader and um, that number corresponds to an entry in a national database where it has all the details of the owner on. So once the number's found, then we can trace the cat back to you, for instance. So are all microchips the same? And, and can all readers read all microchips? They're not, no. Um, all microchips aren't the same. Um, most are, but they have to... Re you really need an ISO standard microchip that can be read by any reader. Um, very important um, that that's the case because if it wasn't, and, uh, somebody it may, your cat may turn up somewhere where it, it can't be read. So it looks like quite a big chip there. It looks a bit more than a chip to me. How are they kind of fitted and, and is it a painful experience for the cat? Yeah, it is quite a large needle and surprisingly it's not as painful as it looks. I think it's slightly more painful than a normal injection. Um, but I was horrified when I first saw them. But no, they tolerate them really, really well. Um, surprisingly so. So how do you actually fit them? Um, the, the needle goes into this little gadget here um, and it, it, it goes inside there and again we can show a close up later um, but then we just as we would with any injection insert the needle under the cat skin and press the plunger and in the chip goes. Because I know that when we've had our cats microchipped you've tended to do those if they happen to have been under anaesthetic for some other reason. Is that an easier way of microchipping them? It is, yeah. We prefer it that way. Um, we can do them um, at vaccines or at other times, but often cats don't really go out until they're neutered um, and, 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 or spayed. And it's a, a lot easier and quicker and simpler to do it while they're actually asleep, while they're under anaesthetic for the spaying and neutering. So. Have you ever come across a cat being allergic to one of those chips? Surprisingly not, no. Um, I've never ever seen a reaction to a, a chip. Um, one problem we do see, or we did see, is sometimes the chips would move from their original implant position mm. um, and end up um, where we didn't intend them to. Um, had one cat where it migrated down onto its shoulder rather than it being on its back. So that was a problem because anybody scanning that cat wouldn't scan the shoulder. Um, but that's rare now because they use a special coating on the chip, A, to stop allergic reactions and also to stop them migrating so that they sit in one place, so I don't really see that now. So is it an expensive procedure? It costs about £20 to have an ISO standard chip fitted and um, once it's in, it's in for life and you're also on the database for life, so that's approximately how much it costs. Okay. Right, well thank you very much. Right. Well, hope you found that useful and um, we'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.